The last couple of days have seen some incredible progress here up in Baltimore at the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse as the Unified Command is working diligently and making great progress and removing all of that debris off of the MV Dolly. Now, we're going to be showing you here today some great photographs and some video of how they did it and some never-before-seen shots from Dolly's Bridge and a whole bunch of other goodies. So buckle up, people, because it's going to be a bumpy ride. So this is some video provided by Captain Andy at the Menorcan Mullet channel. And he gave me permission to use this. And if you haven't been to his channel, you got to check out his channel. He has a great 4K camera set up with a great vantage point here that's fairly close to the action so you can see what's going on. So look at this crane right here. This is the Weeks 533 crane. And it's right on the other side of the dally. It's on the port side. And it's just lifting that huge piece of flat truss off of there. And watch it now. Follow it as it moves it over. And it's going to take it out of the way. And presumably they took it over to Sparrow's Point. But look at the size of that piece. How it dwarfs everything else here. But luckily we could see that going on in the background there fairly clearly. So off it goes. So that was probably about at least an hour worth of time that spanned by there. He had it all going in a pretty good time lapse. So make sure you check out the Menorcan Mullet channel. So they've got a great live stream that they set up every day that you can watch live of, as to what's going on at any given time. And also they have other great videos related to the Francis Scott Key bridge collapse there in Baltimore. So the piece in question that we're talking about is this big, huge, flat section in here. So this is the one that they wanted to get off first. And here's a, a better shot, clearer shot of it. And the Weeks 533 crane is set up right next to it. And you can see they've got the lines down here. They're getting ready to pull it up. They've got it all tied off, ready to go. And then, of course, what we see next is in here in Captain Andy's video from the Mallorcan mullet. So what we're seeing here is the Weeks 533 crane moves into the port side of the dolly. They're going to start to tie up to this bridge truss piece here. And you can see it starts to get really dense in here with all of the other support barges moving in. So then after the Weeks 533 crane comes in and removes that piece of truss, now we can see the damage to the bow of the dolly here unobstructed. And you can see there's still some bridge truss lying here underneath the four lane roadway. So all of that will have to get moved. And there you can see very clearly the pillar, one of the pillars, how it came in and it just basically crashed into the dolly. And you can see it just sort of took a big chunk out of it there. There's your full unobstructed glance into the inside of the dolly's bow. It's pretty amazing the scope of damage that was done here. Now, talking about this large hydraulic claw that they brought in, you remember on my last video, I mentioned I gave it a nickname. I wanted to call it the claw. Oh yeah, it's becoming the claw. But guess what, man? The governor of Maryland, Wes Moore, came in and he stole my thunder. He has a different name for it. You've already heard about the Chesapeake 1000, or the Chessie. It's the largest salvage crane available on the Eastern seaboard. Now today, I want to talk about Chessie's partner, the Gus. And that's the nickname for the largest hydraulic grabber in the entire country that is now here in Baltimore. The Gus is right here helping us out. And we have a, uh, a photo of Gus that I want to show you. So this over here you see is the Chessie, the largest crane we're just mentioning. This right here is the Chessie's partner, the Gus. This crane right here has a weight of 160 metric tons. That's the weight of the Gus, and the Gus, when it is, has its arms out, the Gus is 29 by 29. Okay, now as you take a look at this piece here that Gus, who I'm still going to call the claw, just pulled up out of the water with the Chesapeake 1000 crane. And keep in mind, folks, don't let the size of everything here fool you. Look at the relative size. Remember, the claw here is 29 feet from the bottom of it to the top right there. That's 29 feet. And this section of bridge truss looks to be about four times its size. So this is about a 120 foot long section out of the bridge that was brought up out of the water. 
you could not have done this last week until this hydraulic claw arrived and got attached to the Chesapeake 1000 crane here. And then also, if you look at my last video, you remember I pointed out my strategy of how I thought they were probably going to disassemble that large bridge truss that's resting on top of the dolly bow. And so I came up with that whole scheme there of how the cranes would come in and hold it up and then they would cut it into sections while Chessie removes the bridge truss piece by piece. Well, apparently the Unified Command has their own method of what they want to do. They want to do this precision cutting technique. So listen into what they said. So this was the press conference that they had the other night, just as my video was releasing. <laughs> so of course, now I have to come back and backpedal a few things here. But listen to what this reporter asked the Unified Command on how they're going to remove that bridge truss off of Dali. So we were just out on the boat and the Army Corps of Engineers said that the plan to remove the Dali is actually going to be through a controlled demolition. Can you just explain how that might work. Thank you. So we're using a precision cutting technique to allow us to safely remove that section from the bow of the ship. And by using precision cutting techniques, we are able to institute all those cuts simultaneously so that that's the <coughs> safest possible uh, for the salvers themselves so that they're not trying to cut something and then something another section collapses while they're making that cut now this morning the coast guard released this video from aboard the dolly this is awesome this shows you the enormity here of this scene of just how big these container ships really are now, this is never before seen video and this is actually right on the deck where those guys were standing used to be stacks and stacks of containers that they have already removed and here's some of the ones that are have been crushed that they haven't been able to remove yet and who knows what they're going to do how they're going to get those off later they probably need to wait until the bridge truss is gone because look how it, it, part of it's just entwined with it and just look at these things they're just crushed like little soda cans it's amazing and yet you know those things are big huge and tough and to see them ripped and torn like that it just really shows you the amount of force that there was here we have another rare glimpse inside the bridge of the dolly you can see they're looking straight ahead out over the top of the containers right at that giant bridge truss that is sticking off over the starboard side so it's just amazing when you when you see it close up the enormity of that section of the bridge and the way it's precariously perched and you wonder how they're going to get it up. Look at the guys on the barges down below. Look how small they are in comparison to this section of the bridge. So you can see why they want to do all of that demolition there with the precision cuts to just blow everything at once. And, and uh, But I don't know how it's going to come down or what it's going to do or if it's just going to make the cuts and then they can safely lift the pieces off. But check out these sections here, man. Just everything's all twisted up. And I believe those numbers and everything that they spray painted on there over the past week, that's probably where they're going to set charges and they're identifying different force members. So here's the guys walking. This is that four lane section of the roadway right on the bow of the ship right there. And you can see some of the smaller containers had leaked out some parts. A lot of people had asked in the comments, weren't these things all empty? And I don't think they were. I think we had many that were full with cargo. Now here's some pictures that they released for us also to take a look at this morning. Here's some of the, the truss section and the roadway that's hanging over the top of the bow of the dally. And what a view that is there, man. That's the first time we've ever seen good clear shots like this. And just look at this up close damage of how these containers got crushed, like I showed you on the video before. So they just took around a bunch of different photos from different angles from on top. And it was good to finally see some close up shots up so that we could see what's going on there. There's more labeling of the force members on the bridge. And just look at this damage everywhere from that concrete. I wouldn't want to be standing on that scaffolding, man. And there they are doing more cutting. They're breaking the pieces down into bite-sized morsels. That's one I'd want to get. I'd want to grab that sign and uh, put it on my wall or something. More close-up shots of the containers there. And just amazing how many of these things they can stack up. And remember, it goes deep down into the ship too. And this just shows the enormity. Look at this, that truss is almost as big as Dolly herself. 
And there's a nice close-up view of the damage there behind the tugboat. A couple of sample cuts that they made so far, probably to pre-weaken the truss before they remove it. And uh, there's, of course, right before they removed that section of flat truss off of the bow. And then those guys are way up there, man. I mean, they are way up there. I'd be crazy going up there. There's some of the bridge truss that's piled up. And then this right here was a congressional committee that came in to take a look yesterday at what was going on. So they took them in and they showed them what was happening over there as they were continuing to dredge. And here's another incredible view looking out from the bridge towards the front of the bow of the Dally as the Weeks 533 crane was getting ready to remove that one piece of bridge truss. All right, but you know what though? I'm still going to call it the claw. But I have this horrible pain in my arm. Oh no, it's the claw! No one can stop the claw! So if you like this video, I guarantee you, you're gonna like this other one here on the FIU Bridge Collapse. That's one of my best ones yet on engineering disasters. And then we also cover DIY stuff here for you. So make sure you also check out this video here, which shows you everything you need to know to install laminate flooring in your house. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.